Hi. Has it ever occurred to you how lopsided our development is? Let's take, for example, the everyday habits. Say, getting out of bed in the morning, pulling on your shoes and socks. You probably do it the same way as you've done it for years and years and years. Maybe the left sock comes on first, then the right then the left slipper, then the right slipper, or whatever it is you do. If you're a smoker, you probably hold the box of matches in your left hand, strike the match with your right, use the right hand to light the cigarette. Everything is geared towards, if you're a right-handed person, using the left hand minimally, usually just to grip something, a bit like a vice to hold it, whilst the right hand does all the work. Everything seems to be designed for right-handed people. If you're in the military, for example, and you've been given a rifle, the bolt will be on the right-hand side of the rifle, you'll hold it to your right shoulder, you'll pull back the bolt with your right hand, and your left hand, well, that's just like a vice to grip it and hold it to the shoulder. When we try to change those habits, when we suddenly go the other way, like trying to clean your teeth with your left hand, watch the challenge. What's happened here is that we've done it all the hard way, the learning, from the moment we got to our feet and learned to walk. We favoured certain things. We might have jumped always putting our left foot out first to land on our left foot, but be push off with our right foot. And these are the habits which stay with us for life. And after a while, they become so smooth that the muscular movements are carried right throughout the whole body. Then, Try something different. You have to be as aware, uh, as aware, as concentrated as you did when you first started as a little child. Try the handwriting with your non-dominant hand. Do it. See how you go. You'll find that your hand won't hardly be able to grip the pen properly. It'll wander all over the page. You won't be to go in a straight line. Certainly you won't be to make the letters. But if you persevere, if you keep practicing every day for maybe 15 minutes, after a while, you will find you'll be like a little child at primary school, still learning how to form the letters. But after a while, you will form the methods. point I'm making is this. We have great use of the left hemisphere of our brain. It's used a lot. Right brain, not so much. Now, we know that the right brain controls the left-hand side of the body and the left brain controls the right hand side of the body. So if we're using our right hand all the time, we are using our left brain most of the time. Certainly we're using some of the right, but predominantly the left. If we want to get some sort of equality, some sort of balance, some sort of level, we need to use our non-dominant hand more than we do. And once we do that, what's the benefits? Apart from the hard work, and the character building, we become more creative, more adaptable, certainly more able to come up with new ideas. So don't neglect developing use of your non-dominant hand. I know I should do it more, and I intend to. What about you? It'll make a big difference 
in your abilities, in all manner of things. So do it. <laughs>